Weather coverage you can count on with meteorologist Olga Breeze and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Well, chances are you won't need your umbrella this evening, but a few of us are under some of these very scattered showers we've been tracking for the last couple of hours on our Wave 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar ne Network. Check out Fonkville right here. Just a few scattered heavy downpours, uh, some off toward our northern and eastern uh, counties as well, uh, just near that Powell region. But for many of us, it's broken cloud cover, a little sunshine filtering through, and yes, the opportunity is still there for spotty showers as we move on into the late evening hours. For the most part, the bulk of the heavy and steady rain will remain down toward the south along the Gulf Coast for Decatur, 86 degrees and a lot of blue showing, at least at this hour. We'll continue to deal with that feels like temperature. And Muscle Shoals, they have a lot of sunshine coming through, but that feels like temperature is making 91 feel like 96. So the dew points are fairly healthy. The temperatures are warm this evening. So if you want to get out and take that evening stroll, I think this is a good opportunity opportunity to do that. The official high today for Huntsville, 88 degrees, the low of 72. So we're getting closer to our average temperature for this time of year, and we're going to improve on that as we head into the weekend. You can count on an overcast day for most of the day on Friday. It'll be damp and dreary, but as we get into it late afternoon, early evening, that's when we'll start to see some partial clearing. There could be a stray shower or storm at the start of some of those football games for Friday, but definitely by uh, halftime and the game end, there will be uh, drying out in place. More sunshine headed our way for this weekend. We're not out of the woods with rain opportunities, but rain chances do go down over the next several days. So get out this evening if you can. Take that umbrella with you if you're going to be out before 8 p.m. We'll bottom out right around 70 degrees early tomorrow morning. There will be some patchy fog and winds out of the southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then as we move on through the day, we'll have very low rain chances in the morning, but we'll ramp that up after about 3 o'clock. So by 7 7, 8 o'clock tomorrow night, things should start to dry out. Let me time it for you with the future radar. 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, spotty showers begin to develop, but not everyone gets wet. We'll see a break in the cloud cover around 7, 8 o'clock, basically in the progress of those Friday games. But then uh, as we move on into our Saturday morning, more clouds than sunshine to start, but we'll have a lot of sunshine in the afternoon. And that could stir up a little bit of opportunity for spotty showers headed into our Saturday forecast. Now for Sunday, that's the day we really have our eye on. A lot of sunshine in the morning, but Sunday night and into Monday, Monday is when I think our better chances for rain are, are going to evolve. So Saturday and Sunday, get out and enjoy that weekend. The seven-day forecast is looking pretty good. We'll keep our temperatures fairly warm into Monday and Tuesday, but it looks like we'll ramp up our rain chances a little bit higher the middle of next week.